Hi and welcome. Today we are going to make Napoleon cake, which has nothing to do with Napoleon actually. You can read all about that at my blog. But now we start with mixing one liter of milk together with 300 grams of sugar and uh, stir it constantly until the sugar is dissolved and it should just uh, simmer, not uh, to get burned at the bottom of the saucepan. So when it gets hot and, and at the same time you mix um, four eggs with 120 grams of uh, cornstarch, mix it with a hand mixer and then you pour some of that hot milk in there while whisking constantly. Uh, and when you have done that for a couple of uh, spoonful, then you turn it back to the saucepan and put it on the stove again and continue mixing all the time so it doesn't become uh, like an omelette or something. And um, have it still on medium heat and mix until it starts to thicken. And it takes about five minutes. When it starts to thicken like this, then you take it off, pour it in a pour the butter in and mix it until it's dissolved and then you add the uh, vanilla uh, sugar or extract and mix it until that is dissolved and now you can pour it uh, in a big bowl and put a plastic wrap on top all the way down to the uh, to the surface and put it in the refrigerator Meanwhile, you heat the oven to uh, heat the oven and unpack the um, puff pastry package. I fold mine and uh, make it until it is uh, and uh, roll it until it's nine times ten inches. About it's not that uh, important. Uh, rinse the um, oven form with cold water. Wipe the water off. And then you put a parchment paper on top. And now comes the trick. You just put the puff pastry and take away the paper that the puff pastry comes from, it comes with. So, and now put some holes in there with the knife. It should be a little larger than a hole actually. And now you put it in the oven for 20 minutes about you know it's done when you insert a spatula under the edge uh, of the dough and you can lift it without it bending or cracking. Then it's done. So put it aside and uh, you do the same procedure with the, uh, the three other uh, puff pastries. Now, the fourth one, you do not fold and maybe you can roll it a little bit and you put it for a longer time in the oven than 20 minutes um, and when it's cold you you just um, crumble it with your hands uh, we are going to use that for decoration now make your tray uh, put a parchment paper like I'm doing here one two three four and then you put your first layer on top of this then you put the first layer and put some uh, cream on top. It's not uh, very important if it comes on the sides, I will show you later. Uh, put a thick um, layer of cream. Then you put the next layer and repeat the same procedure. And then now the third one is very important that you have the coarse side down so that you get the nice and clean surface on top and you do not put any cream on top of that you can do that and uh, just but uh, I'm, I, I'm doing it another way you can put uh, cream on top and uh, aside and put the crumble around and on top but today I'm going to show you another way now you trim the edges first and uh, then you spread the cream around the cake as thick or as thin as you want but it's it's okay if you, you put a thick one a thick layer rather and meanwhile you can also put two or three gelatin leaves uh, to uh, soak in water for five or ten minutes 
and at the same time you put 375 up to 500 grams of raspberry jam without seeds you have to strain that um, and you heat it on medium low and stir it occasionally until it becomes a, a little bit hot then you put the gelatin leaves in there and mix until it's dissolved And when that is done, then you put uh, some spoons on top of the cake. Be uh, careful not to put it uh, re uh, that it's running on the sides. Then uh, you take a brush and uh, smooth it out. And now it's time to put the crumble all around the cake. Um, it's going to get all, all around it, yeah. And now you can take away the parchment paper. You might need another ha pair of hands to do that, but uh, just to take it away, now you have a clean surface. And now you can uh, decorate it as you wish. Um, I used raspberries and uh, red currants and uh, mint leaves, but it's brushing the fruit with, uh, and the leaves with uh, a mixture of gelatin and so on will make it much, much better. It's so delightful. As we say in Iran, Nusha John, or enjoy. <laughs>